We have a red oak tree out in our front yard, and we also know that that tree is a strong tree, a red oak. It's been around for a long time. That tree is a symbol for stability. Annie Stairs family draws strength from the routine. What, do you, what colors do you have here? Three young boys keep the house lively. <laughs> especially their youngest son, Graham. He is such a gift to us. We look at the world differently because of him. Annie and her husband noticed early on Graham's development was different. He never hit a milestone on time, quote unquote. So he walked later, uh, he talked later, his speech was delayed. Good job, Graham, I'm proud of you. Dad. You say bye-bye? Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. The things that we're most concerned about is a lack of language development when um, we're expecting language to grow and develop, have a lack of eye contact whose reciprocal play and interaction is not up to developmental expectations. He also would line up his toys a lot in order and it was always trains in a row and they had to be in a certain order. He was meticulous about it. So Annie took her concerns to her pediatrician and then to Nationwide Children's Hospital. And right away he was diagnosed. Bring up your concerns. Um, and if you bring them up once and, and the physician says, it's nothing to worry about, we'll keep a watch on it. But three months later, you're still worried about it, bring it up again. The doctor said to me, never forget that Graham is the same child that walked into this office when he walks out of this office today. And my husband and I repeat that to each other sometimes and we agree. Graham's actively involved in speech and occupational therapy and applied behavioral analysis. Whatever we were doing, I wanted to make sure that it was backed up by a doctor um, some, or a professional. Also, what was hugely helpful for me was being referred by friends and family to other parents that had been through the same experience. Remember that red oak in the front yard? That's what inspired Annie to launch a resource for new autism parents, the Red Oak Foundation. Like our tree outside, we want to connect people to resources like the branches on the tree. And what we want to be is that connector to what's already out there. So there's already so many great therapies, so many great groups out there, and we want to connect people to those resources. So we want to really help provide that strength uh, to other people that sometimes you have to dig deep for, but it's there. Hi. You say hug, yeah. Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs>